In this video, I'm going to talk about the Chadamo Adapter Lending Program. So in 2015, in the first round of the referral program of Tesla, uh, I received a lot of credit for, uh, you know, for the referrals. And I wanted to give something back to my uh, viewers and to the Tesla community. I don't know, I found out that I could just buy a bunch of adapters and spread them all over Norway. That's what I did. I bought like 40 or I don't know how, I don't remember how many, but a lot of adapters and I spread them all over the place. And in addition, I also bought 15 more that I gave to Tesla Owners Club Norway. And they are also you know, uh, managing it. And they actually do most of the management now around with the adapters for me. And also they, I think for, for the membership fee, they also buy new adapters and place them on key locations where it is needed. So that's pretty nice. And um, you know there are you see on this map here we have a map of uh, all the locations and there are more and more coming actually and there are mainly two types of location we have the red dots those are like the the local or the fixed place where usually there's a a business let's say a gas station a restaurant a hotel or something they hold on to the adapter for for us and then. Anyone can borrow it, but it has to be only used at that site. And as a security, you know, you have to turn in your driver's license, your credit card, or I mean, prefer not the credit card, but the driver's license or passport or something. And then you, you can only use that on the, that location. Now, the other color is the purple one. And that's for like, I would say the mobile type where you, uh, if you want to borrow one, you have to contact one of these people and they have one or more adapters. And this one, this adapter, can you can bring it with you. And the whole point of it is you're going on a vacation or something or a long trip and you might need it. Then you can bring it with you and you can charge wherever you need with the adapter. But as a safety for that, you have to pay a deposit sum. And the deposit size is the same as the adapter itself. So it's just, yeah, as a precaution, and it works really great. Um, the, the the feedback now this this like this program has been going on for uh, for like a year now, and only positive feedbacks. So um, let me start with I mean the the people who lend them out. There are like lots of people who contact them, and I would call them the lenders, the whole the, the the adapter holders, and I place them in cities, the main like the big cities where most people have Teslas and they're going from that city for for example Oslo, Bergen, Trondheim on vacation especially in summer Oslo and Bergen is really hot especially Oslo is so hot uh, that I have so many I have like uh, two well, I had three people lending out for me but then I reduced it to two so it's been working pretty great and we have almost no like no problem with the lending, like nobody stole the adapter, no one you know, broke the adapter. It was just one case where uh, someone borrowed an adapter, paid the deposit, and then he never replied. I mean, he's like, he disappeared, but you know, whatever. When with, I had the money for the adapters, I can just buy a new one. And um, also, businesses love this uh, i mean uh, i remember i was contacted by kiwi which is a grocery store he wanted to place an adapter and his store in uh, was it? i don't remember but you know uh, so i sent one adapter over there and also um i tried to convince some of the other businesses to start but uh, unfortunately mcdonald's wasn't too positive they they they, they felt like it was like a like extra like, labor for them to do this but anyway um I convinced uh, Circle K, when it was back then it was Statoil, to, I could place one adapter over Minnesun, and then I placed also another adapter in Espa, you know, with the buns. And now Nebenes is up, and you know the owners of these uh, gas stations, they actually want to keep the adapters. Well, I, I told them that, you know, there's a supercharger now, Nebenes, the largest one, you know, and most likely people with Teslas probably don't need to stop on the other location. I don't stop there anymore. But they wanted to keep it there because they found out that um, there are more people coming there to charge and stop and usually, you know, charging customers are the best customers. Fossils, most of them, they just fill up and then they leave. But the charging customers, they have to stay there for like 15 minutes, half an hour anyway. So 
Statoil, Circle K, wanted to, you know, like ask me if I would want to keep the, the adapter there longer. So I said, okay, let's just see past um, Christmas, see how it goes. And then the owner of um, Espa, they wanted to buy the adapter. So yeah, maybe yeah, they can just buy it and then I can buy a new one and place it somewhere else. But this is like great news. And also, oh yeah, about uh, McDonald's. I know someone who owns a Tesla who owns a couple of McDonald's. So I actually placed one of the adapters at one of his McDonald's. And that also works great. But as for businesses where, where to place them, you know, there should be a place, a business very close to that uh, charging station that uh, now. And um, preferably just a hundred cup, like a hundred meters away. Like if you have to walk 15 minutes, that's a little bit too far. So very close to it, but also it should be a place which is open 24 seven. Most hotels are open 24 seven. Also some of the gas stations near the big roads, they're also open 24 seven. And uh, McDonald's, some places actually close around midnight, but and also some like grocery store I mentioned that also like but it's has very extended opening hours like opens at 7 closes at uh, 11 and then also open on Sundays in Norway not all the businesses open on Sundays but uh, yeah only positive feedback from all those guys and you know this kind of like started some kind of like movement um, or, or just like a collective um, yeah I'm not sure how to put it but other owners with I mean, the like people started lending out their own adapters because you know uh, ma most people don't do crazy trips and they don't need an adapter they only drive around the city and then occasionally they take a trip but most of the time you know they can get the, enough charging with um, supercharger network but especially in summer Norwegians they've been traveling all over Europe they go to like freaking Spain, Italy, Croatia, Poland, they go everywhere and that's where an adapter is always nice because if you look at this map you see supercharger network is quite extensive and it looks pretty impressive right but look at this this other map from charge map a map of high like high speed chargers including I mean that also includes the 50 kilowatt DC chargers the Chalmol, uh, but also supercharger and you can clearly see that you know with the adapter, you have a lot more coverage. So um, that means you don't have to take like detours to visit a supercharger. You can just go straight to your destination or charge. It's much more convenient. And you know, this, this program works so well that uh, I, I, you know, <laughs> for a long time, I thought about extending it to other countries, but I wanted to keep it within Norway. I mean, I really wanted to, you know, let other people also like enjoy this um, this feature but I wanted to keep it in Norway to have more or less control over it but now you know actually for the past six months I haven't done anything I just like it kind of just works for itself and also Tesla Owners Club they do a great job of uh, managing it they sometimes they move the adapter or they buy a new one or whatever but they do all that stuff and also they they also put in new uh, new people who want to lend out their adapter so I think it's a great idea and you know I think we should try to make this worldwide but my suggestion is that um, you know we can keep the map we can there's some some of the stuff there is in English but uh, unfortunately most of it is in Norwegian but it can quickly be you know translated because the map the map is very important uh, for let's say a Dutch couple wants to visit Norway and they want to grab an adapter preferably they should grab the adapter in in their own country but you know some people might not get an adapter or, or they can rely on the stationary adapters and then it's very very nice to see where those stationary adapters are but I suggest if you know try to go with this world why not each country should have their own like management for instance in Norway Tesla owners club Norway in Belgium, maybe you know the Belgium Belgian uh, Tesla Club or whatever you know. In in Germany, you have the German. Uh, so each of them manage their own locations, you know everything. But it's just that all of us we share the same map. So I don't know what you guys think. I think it's a great idea. It's been working great in Norway, and this this you know this uh, program helps a lot for 
to make life easier for <laughs> you know EV drivers because I man I can I can say that I use it a lot and I can say that you know most people should buy an adapter when you buy the car but many people don't even have a type 2 cable and many people don't see the point of this adapter and also you know for most people they don't need it like I mentioned earlier but um you know, and I also try to convince, like, let's uh, say the, the Fortum or Grun Contact or also the Statoil Circle K or, you know, whoever that has these um, fast chargers at the business that maybe they should put an adapter there. So it's it's like a very small uh, investment, but it's it's so great for, for people who use it. So we'll see, we'll see, but... Um, Yes, I don't know about you guys, but I, I think, I mean, the experience is great and I think we should try to, to you know, get this working all over, not all, only Europe, but for the whole world. But yeah, of course, I mean, for us, it will be Europe and then for, you know, Asia and then USA. But, you know, the whole idea, it's great. It's been working. Yeah. So, yes. Um, that's it for now, so if you have any comments, please um, comment and I will try to um, reply as usual, but um, but yeah, of course, other people can also reply for me, yeah, I don't have to answer the same questions that have been asked, like, asked and answered too many times. Yes, I guess uh, that's it for now.